class we will discuss in short why there is no rib notching in the first two uh, ribs in a case of post ductal coarctation of aorta so if it is a we know the intercostal arteries each intercostal space is supplied by pair of anterior and posterior intercostal arteries so the anterior intercostal there are 11 intercostal spaces so the first nine spaces the anterior intercostal arteries arises from internal mammary artery which is a branch of the first part of subclavian artery so these arteries arises before the coic segment the first nine intercostal space and the lower 10 and 11 arises from the musculophrenic artery that is from lower down the, the 9 and 11 anterior intercostal space not 9 and 11 sorry 10 and 11 intercostal arteries arises from musculophrenic so that is with the anterior intercostal spaces while in the posterior intercostal spaces the first two intercostal space arteries as in the diagram we can see the posterior intercostal first and uh, first and second space arises from the superior cervical trunk that is uh, from the uh, subclavian artery that is a branch of the subclavian artery that is the superior cervical from the superior cervical trunk uh, it arises that is a posterior intercostal arteries which are uh, supplying the first and second so this is also from the high pressure segment only because uh, the coic will be at this level after the, all the three branches of uh, iota arises then only the coic segment arises uh, uh, coictation happens so these first two intercostal arteries post intercostal arteries arise before that coic segment so this is also the same pressure as that of the high pressure segment as that of the anterior intercostal arteries while the third from third up to the 11th the post intercostal arteries arises from directly from the dta descending thoracic aorta so this is actually because of the coic segment the pressure below uh, this uh, below the coic segment will be low so from the third intercostal space the posterior intercostal arteries will be a low pressure system so there is a pressure difference between the anterior which is a high pressure from which arises before the coic segment and the posterior which is a low pressure which arises after the coic segment directly from the aorta so because of this pressure difference that is in the first two uh, spaces the anterior and the posterior intercostal arteries are from the high pressure zone so there is no much uh, turbulence around the region of anastomosis so both are of the same pressure while from the third intercostal space the anterior intercostal arteries and the posterior uh, in general the anterior and the posterior intercostal arteries anastomose are around uh, along the anterior axillary line so in the from the third uh, intercostal space onwards the high pressure anterior intercostal arteries will rush into the low pressure posterior intercostal arteries around the region of the anterior axillary around the anastomosis region and that will this pressure difference will result in uh, tortuous and also formation of lot of collaterals around the region of this anastomosis and because of this enlarged and tortuous vessel arising in this anterior axillary level at from the third intercostal space onwards this uh, enlarged and tortuous vessels around the region of anastomosis will cause the notching of the under surface of the rib so that's why the first two ribs are spared in a coarctation uh, of iota post ductal while the coarctation will be seen up from the third to ninth intercostal space only because after 9 10 and 11 is again from the low pressure system only so for 10 and 11 we won't see any coic segment uh, no notching of rib so only from third to nine we see coarctation uh, sorry rib notching in a case of coarctation of iota and also it cannot it is not necessary that rib notching needs to be bilateral so we can say that uh, if the left subclavian is arising after the coic segment then we will see um, only right sided rib notching will be present because left sided anyway this side uh, both are uh, both are of the same pressure so the pressure difference will occur only in the right side and that will result in a rip notching only in the right side while in the left side both the uh, anterior as well as the posterior are low pressure so there is no turbulence around the region of anastomosis so only by unilateral rip notching can also occur in coarctation of iota that occurs because of the uh, that depends upon from where the coarct coic segment is there if it is uh, before the uh, starting uh, before arising of the uh, left subclavian artery then only right side of the notching we see and if there is a aberrant right subclavian artery which arises after the, uh, the coarctation segment then it will result only in left side of the notching so uh, this is the this pressure difference 
is the cause of uh, tortuous vessel which causes rib notching and uh, mm, i hope you everybody understood why the first two rib spaces are spared in and the only third to ninth are involved in a case of coarctation of aorta thank you